If the enigmatic Zava struck a chord of recognition in the third season of Ted Lasso, it wasn't just his magnetic presence. The actor who plays him has built up quite a resume over the past decade. No Ted Lasso character has been quite as inscrutable as Zava. Modeled after other legendary single-named footballers of similar brilliance and ego, the star player dazzled on the field and brought Richmond close to the top of the table in the Premier League, only to bail mid-season after the squad started to struggle. Before his shocking departure, he puzzled his teammates with a combination of prima donna behavior and enigmatic locker room quips, ruffled the feathers of teammate Jamie Tart, prompted Thierry Zoro to change his name to Van Dam, and informed Sam Obasanya that Nigerian cooking will change considerably. West African cuisine doesn't typically feature a lot of avocados. Hmm. Not yet. Zava plays a crucial thematic role in season three of Ted Lasso. Maximilian Osinski, who plays the mononymous footballer, told Vulture, I think he was brought on as this foil to show the team that they can't lean on one individual, they have to work together. His decision to suddenly retire from football and without even informing Ted has thrown a wrench into Richmond's already malfunctioning gears. Most likely, the sudden retirement is not the last we've heard from Zaba, especially considering how heavily he was schmoozing with Rupert Mannion, owner of Richmond's sworn enemy West Ham United. So where may you have seen Osinski before? Well, how about the MCU? S.H.I.E.L.D. agent James Davis, played by Osinski, first shows up in the ninth episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He isn't seen again until the fourth season when he becomes a recurring character. He had left S.H.I.E.L.D. in the interim but rejoins under Agent Phil Coulson's leadership, proving himself to be a loyal agent. He's killed in the final season after being possessed by the malevolent entity Izel. I did warn you. It could be worse. In the midst of his run as a secret agent, Osinski took to the waves on TNT's The Last Ship. Set in a world in which a virus has wiped out 80% of the global population, the show zoomed in on a crew of just 218 aboard a single U.S. Navy ship at sea, the USS Nathan James, saddled with the job of finding a cure. Even among that small crew, Osinski's lookout Derek Evans wasn't seen more than a handful of times in just three episodes. He's not a prominently featured face, but a face nonetheless. Notably, Osinski got to work with his now wife, Australian Nepalese actor Deechan Lackman, on both The Last Ship and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Osinski is also part of the quickly expanding universe of AMC's The Walking Dead. He appeared in the second and final season of The Walking Dead World Beyond as Dennis Graham, husband of fan favorite Jennifer Huck Malik. World Beyond mostly looks at the post-zombie apocalypse through the eyes of the teenage characters nicknamed the Endlings. Like most adults on the show, Dennis is haunted by his past, grasping for redemption. Osinski told pop culturalist, I asked myself, why didn't he fall to the side and become a shell of himself? With a character like Dennis, it's about trying to figure out what a person does or how they function while dealing with issues of their past. Dennis is a decent man who made a grave and deadly mistake during his time with the Civic Republic military. Silas calls him one of the few good people who have been a part of the CRM and Dennis and Huck are increasingly disturbed by the Civic Republic's violence against innocent people. The two even join the Endlings to stop the CRM's planned gas attack on Portland. After Huck dies in the explosion that destroys the gas, a mortally wounded Dennis convinces Silas to shoot him so that the latter can come off as a hero to the Civic Republic and continue to undermine it. 